In 2008, the FDA issued a guidance requiring thorough cardiovascular risk assessment and anti-diabetic drug development. Satisfying this requirement involves meta-analysis of major cardiovascular events from late-stage cardiovascular outcome trials. Several hundred cardiovascular events must occur within the cardiovascular outcome trials in order to properly demonstrate a compound's cardiovascular hazard ratio. This translates to recruitment goals of between 5 and 15,000 patients and an added expense approaching $500 million. This has become the most significant obstacle to the development of new anti-diabetic drugs. Such a financial burden may all but prohibit the independent launch of diabetic medications by small biotech and pharmaceutical companies, and has been implicated in repressing innovation in the development of new treatments for diabetes. Deferring the assessment of cardiovascular risk to late phase is not a sustainable model of anti-diabetic drug development. There's a profound need for an early clinical research signal of cardiovascular risk to enable better decision making earlier in the drug development process. Measuring the Flow Mediated Dilation Response, or FMD, offers such a signal. FMD is a measure of endothelial function represented by the vasculature's ability to self-regulate tone and flow through the nitric oxide mediated dilation. The change in diameter of the brachial artery in response to occlusion-induced hyperemia can be measured non-invasively with an ultrasound. Endothelial dysfunction precedes the structural atherosclerosis that leads to thrombosis and advanced vascular disease. FMD detects functional as opposed to structural changes to the endothelium. This means that FMD can detect both positive and negative changes to endothelial function from even very short-term interventions. The FMD response measured at the brachial artery represents systemic endothelial function that can be extrapolated to reflect phenomena related to vessels at risk for atherosclerosis. For these reasons, FMD provides a well-established corollary to cerebrovascular and cardiovascular outcomes. FMD is one of the most promising tests for an early clinical research signal of cardiovascular risk. FMD can be leveraged to avoid the late-stage failure of an anti-diabetic compound due to cardiovascular outcome trial results. Solarion is able to conduct FMD assessments while offering the full support services of a traditional CRO. With over 750 beds available within our global clinical network on three continents, we're able to meet our clients' needs. At Solarion, we continuously evaluate methodologies such as FMD for use in early clinical research to enhance the quantity, quality, and timeliness of information used in drug development decision making. These are a few of the reasons Solarion is a leader in applied translational medicine.